Rosie. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tucking along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and Johnny steals the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Tim's drawing book, the world to spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Tim, we play our games. <coughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life, and I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day. So I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. It needs a good shake. Just look at it. It's getting very thin and worn out. I've had it since I was a boy. Oh, then. Got it folded up neatly. Get the doors closed. And then I'll leave it out in the fresh air for a bit. Get my life jacket on. Well, my book says that if I go along here, I'll come to a place called Upton upon Severn. And there's a weaver's workshop there that people can visit. I wonder if they make blankets. I think I'll go and see. there now. place to stop. And there's the tower at Upton. Good view of that. Thank you. 
Oh, I mustn't leave my blanket out. But I just tied it up before I... Oh. Oh, look at that. I really will have to find that weaver's workshop now and discover if they make new blankets. I'll just put it away neatly. Before I go, pop it in the lid. And I'll get on my way. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day for a picnic, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it's You've picked a nice place for it, too. Tim, that little baby's got a special blanket. Mm -hmm. She looks all cosy, cosy, cuddly, rosy. Yeah. <laughs> and that little girl's got one, too. Nice to see you anyway. Enjoy your picnic. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 My goodness, what a busy place. Hello. Good morning. How do you do? My How name's do? John. My name's Ziggy. Very nice to meet you. May I look around your workshop? Yes, please do. What I'm really looking for is a blanket. Well, I think we might be able to help you because um, we do actually make blankets here, and the blankets we make are made of sheep's wool. Ah. New blanket? Yeah, a snuggly blanket. It doesn't look like the wool on the sheep, does it? Well, you have to make the wool into a thread to start off with. Mm -hmm. That's the first process. And that's actually what Beverly over there is doing on the spinning wheel. So oh, shall I we see. go over there and have a yes, look at I'd it? Yes, I'd love to see. Hello. Hello. You see, she's, she's using the wool straight off the sheep, so that has been cut right, right. this year off the sheep. Of a, of a curly sheep. Of a very curly sheep. Mm, mm. With very long wool on it. Mm -hmm. Rosie, it's all curly whirly wool. Yeah, and it's all twisty wisty. <laughs> As you can see there, she's just holding the wool, just gently against the thread. Yes. And then the spinning wheel makes sure that that is twisted into a thread. Yes. And you've got some here that's been. Made. Oh, here's a lot, isn't there? That's been made in that's, thread. That's what it looks like spun mm -hmm, up, yes. Mm -hmm. But you don't, I mean, that's the colour off the sheep, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have to stay white. You mm -hmm. can put colour into it and oh, dye those, it. Those are nice, aren't they? Look at those, aren't those lovely colours? Beautiful. It still doesn't quite look like a blanket, though, does it? No, you then have to weave the threads into a fabric or into a blanket. Mm -hmm, and if mm -hmm. I can show you, that's actually what Vera is doing over here oh, on the hand see. loom. Yes. Hello, Vera. Hello. Mm -hmm. And what she could do now is to go in and out of those threads with a darning needle. Ah, just like darning, yeah. In, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. <laughs> that would be rather slow, wouldn't it? It would take a long time to do mm -hmm. that, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to speed it up, you can set up your threads so that you can lift a whole lot in one go. Mm. That's what Vera's oh, doing there. Ooh. Look, she's pushing it through, Rosie. Yeah, and pulling it back, Jim. Is there a still quicker way of doing it? Yes, there would be a quicker way if we went over to my leaves over there and have a look at ah, that. Ah, I see. Does it work the same way as the little one? Yes, uh -huh. but mine is running on a motor. And that's the shuttle, like Vera's stick, mm -hmm. that has got the thread in it. Mm -hmm. And I have to put that into the loom now before I can start it. That slides across like that, yeah. It goes backwards mm -hmm. and forwards, like a little mouse almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And stand back and watch out, because it's quite noisy. Is that how my blanket will be made? 
Your blanket and a lot of other blankets will be made like this. Well, I'd like to pick one now, if I may. Well, shall we go over and have a look at it? Please. <laughs> and that is quite a long blanket as well, so you really can wrap yourself up in it for those cold oh, yes. winter nights. Hmm. Yes, I like that. Yes, Will I like that be all right? Please, yeah. Mm. We're weavers now, Jim. Yeah. We're weaving all in and out, Rosie. <laughs> Making a nice blanket for Fizzygog. Mm. <laughs> a blanket with no holes in it, Rosie. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, Rosie. Uh huh. Push it through and oh, then pull uh, it back oh, like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 oh. that, Rosie. Yeah. That's not a blanket. Uh, well, yeah. well, you do it, Nitty Noggin. Go on, you push it through and, and then and then pull it back and you have to do it really, really fast. And well, you can't do it. Oh, no. Push and throw, see it go. Rosie can't go any faster. I can, I can. Push it through oh. and pull it back. Oh, 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 oh. 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 oh dear. Oh. What a disaster. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was a very interesting visit. My pleasure. See you on. Bye bye. Bye. Quack, 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 quack. <gasps> Ducky's cracking his cracky song. Fizzcock's coming. We've, We've played, played too long. long. Come on. He's coming. <laughs> Now, let's have a look at my nice new blanket. Well, that one's got no holes in it at all. And it's going to be really warm for cold nights. And I'm going to fold it up now, put it on the chair, because it's given me an idea for a story. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the old rag doll when they met a young girl weaving at a loom. It went clitter-clatter, clitter-clatter all day long. What are you doing, said Jim. I'm weaving cloth for my stepmother's new dress, said the girl. Why are you looking so sad, said Rosie. Because it will never be ready on time. My loom goes so slowly, she'll be very angry and I'll be sent to bed with no dinner. We'll help, said Rosie. We know someone who can weave very, very fast, said Jim. Come with us. They went somewhere they'd been before on their boat. Midsummer weavers. There was a beautiful young woman with a loom that had an engine to make it go. She could weave cloth so fast, whizz, fizz, that it was done before you knew it. And her loom wove the stepmother's cloth whilst they all had a cup of coffee. Then they said, thank you very much to the kind young woman. How can we pay you, said Jim. You can put me in a story and make me famous, said the woman. That'll do for me. And so they did. Rosie! I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.